Those of you who are taking a class with me this semester, this fall 2018 semester, uh, we're going to be using Google Classroom. I wanted to create this short video to show you what it looks like on an Android device, specifically a tablet device. So the first step would be to go into the Play Store and install Google Classroom. Once you've installed Google Classroom, then go to the icon and open up the app, go into the course, and uh, the first day of class I'll give you the code how to and show you how to get into the course. But you'll notice that it is divided into three sections, stream, classwork, and people. All of you and your classmates um, will be listed in, uh, in this section here, so you can find them if you need to send uh, direct messages, you can do that here. Under classwork, this is where you'll find all the assignments for the semester, and you'll see that they're listed by week, starting with week one, all the way through to week 16. Finally, you'll see the stream section. We'll be doing some different dynamics in class that will require us to converse back and forth through the stream. So uh, to get started, the first step would be to get into Google Classroom and get familiar with it. Again, we'll be talking about this in class. And if you do have any uh, issues on how to find the course, I'll, I'll assist you in, uh, in class. Um, but the, this is what we're going to be using this semester to do assignments and other types of activities. Okay, for those of you who are taking classes with me this semester, again, the fall 2018 semester, we're going to be using Google Classroom. And I uh, wanted to create this short video to show you what it looks like on, on a cell phone, a mobile device, an Android device, in fact. And so, again, the first step would be to make sure that you have installed it on your device. Again, it's called Google Classroom, and you should be able to access it through the Google Play Store. Once it's installed, you'll open up the app, go into your classroom, and it'll look very similar to uh, what we've talked about before in the, the prior video. You're going to have a stream section, classwork section, and a people section. So it's basically the same type of organization. Uh, I will draw your attention to these options, the calendar option, which you'll link to your calendar. And notifications, you can set that and get notifications. These are messages that you uh, will receive if I send you direct messages or if other classmates send you direct messages. And if you have any other classes, you can access those. Notice the classroom folders here. Okay, So you're going to have an access to folders that you can organize however you wish. So these are not necessarily shared. In fact, they're not shared folders. Later, I'm going to share folders with you, and I'll talk a little bit more about that in uh, another video, and that we'll talk about it face in our face-to-face -face classes. But I do want to draw your attention to that option that you're going to have a folder section, our classroom folders, where you can organize all the information uh, however you uh, wish. Okay, those of you who are taking a class with me uh, this semester, this fall 2018 semester, we're going to be using Google Classroom and uh, this is what it's going to look like on an iOS device. Make sure that you have installed the app. So go to the App Store and uh, make sure that uh, that's been installed. Then go into the app and go to the class. And you'll notice that it's very similar to the app on the Android device. It's going to be divided into stream, classwork, and people. Okay, so we have stream, classwork, and people. And also we have this additional set of options on the left, top left-hand corner of your screen where you can access the calendar and classroom folders. We'll go into a little bit more detail in another video and also in class about how to access those, uh, those options. But for now, just wanted to provide this tutorial. If you have any questions about how to install your app on your device, let me know.